Hey everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Deja Vu by Olivia Rodrigo on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something you'd like to learn. So this song is going to be super great if you're a beginner. First of all, we are in standard tuning and you do not need a capo to play this song in the original key, but the best part of it is that this entire song can be played with only two chords and neither of them are bar chords, so it's great for if you're a beginner. And I have two strumming patterns as well as one picking pattern that I want to show you, but of course that picking pattern is always optional, that's just there if you are a little bit more advanced or like to go into picking, but you could totally do this whole song with just the strumming patterns as well, so let's go ahead and jump Jump into it and I will show you those chords. Alright guys, and like I said, there's only two chords for this entire song. The first chord you're going to need to know is D, which looks like this and sounds like this. And then the other chord you need to know is A, which looks like this and sounds like this. And something to notice here too is like you can play this entire song with just those two chords but there is something that you can do to dress it up really easily is when you're playing your D chord taking off your middle finger okay so then that sounds like this All right so there's gonna be a lot of back and forth between D and middle finger off And then the same can be said about your A chord. So this is our normal A chord, but another easy way to dress it up is just to make your ring finger, take your ring finger off, okay? So then it goes into this. So you're gonna go back and forth between A with your ring finger off. All right? So those are the chords you need to know for this song. All right, so once you have those chord fingerings down, the rest of the song is so easy because it literally just goes back and forth between D and A, and so it's really easy for transitions and things like that once you get that transition down. But if you need to, go ahead and pause the video and make sure you can transition pretty easily between D and A because that way it'll make the whole song go a lot easier. Um, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the strumming patterns that I wanna show you for this song. So the very first strumming pattern I have to show you is super simple. All it is is four down strums. So let's go ahead and start out with our D chord on. And what I want you to do is just strum down four times. One, two, three, four. But the thing that we're going to do to kind of change this up and make it sound a lot more like the original and kind of make it a little more fun is when you're strumming down, I want you to go ahead and take your middle finger on your D chord on your left hand and just lift it off. And what I'm doing there is I'm kind of flicking the string a little bit with the tip of my middle finger. All right. So without playing anything on your right hand, you should be able to hear this sound. So I call this like a hammer on is when you hammer your finger on and then I flick off my finger to make that sound. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're going to do that with your middle finger as we do our four down strums. So now it'll become more like this. All right, so we've got one, two, And notice again with my left hand, I'm not doing anything. All I'm doing is lifting my middle finger and kind of flicking the string as I come off. All right? And you just do that over and over again. One, two, three, four. All right? And so when you go to the A chord, it's the exact same thing, except this time, instead of your middle finger, I want you to flick off your ring finger, your third finger. I'm not doing anything with my right hand. All right, so we're just doing that with our left hand. But the strumming pattern's gonna stay the same. You just do four down strums. Okay, one, two, three, four. Awesome. 
So then what you want to do is just put the D and the A together. So we've, with the hammer on flick off motion. And I actually want you to do each of those chords twice. So for D we've got one, two, three, four, again, one, two, three, four. Then you go to your A chord and then you're going to do the four down strum pattern twice again. One, two, three, four, twice. Right? And then you can literally play the entire song just like that. So that is the first strumming pattern. I do have something to tell you guys though, if that's a little bit hard for you to do that like flick off hammer on motion, another thing you can do to kind of get around that instead of doing that is whenever you are strumming down on your like whole D chord, so all three fingers are down, you can then just take off your middle finger and then strum up. So instead of doing the hammer on flick off motion, you can just strum up with your middle finger off. All right, so we've got down, all three fingers, take your middle finger, and up. So then in that case, if you would prefer doing that, it would just become a down, up, down, up strumming pattern. So it'd be like this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then again, it would be the exact same thing for your A chord. You're just gonna strum down with your entire A chord on. Then lift up your ring finger and strum up. All right, so we've got down, up, and then you just do that for the whole measure. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. All right, so again, you just put that together. you just keep going so again that is just kind of like a little easier way to get around and have that exact same rhythm without doing the hammer-ons and flick-offs and things like that but with that being said let's go ahead and jump into the second strumming pattern I want to show you for this song so as you can see the second strumming pattern that I wanted to show you for this is the very common down down up up down up and it's gonna sound a little something like this So that was the rhythm there. Let's go ahead and practice that with our D chord on. I'm just gonna play it through a few times and count it off and you guys just go ahead and jump in with me whenever you feel ready. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. As you can see, that is the rhythm and you would keep this entire rhythm going for the entire song. But now what we wanna do is kind of put in that variation back, okay? So we have our regular D chord on right now with all three fingers. And what I want you to do is play this regular D chord for the first two down strums. So we've got down, down. Then I want you to lift your middle finger and then do the rest of the pattern. Up, up, down, up. All right, so again, that's down, down, lift, up, up, down, up. Awesome. So let's just do that a few times to get used to it. One, two, ready, go. Down, down, up. then you would just apply that exact same thing to your A chord. So now let's go ahead and put our A chord on. And again, what I want you to do is for the first two down strums, we're gonna have our A chord just as is with all three fingers down, down, down. But then for the rest of this, I want you to lift off your ring finger and then play the rest of the pattern. Up, up, down, up. All right, so let's try A again. We've got down, down, lift, up, up, down, up. Awesome. 
So once you get the rhythm down, all you have to do now is go back and forth between your D and your A chord. So let's go ahead and try that without stopping. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up twice. Switch to A. So again, this strumming pattern can be applied for the entire song, and I do think that that's a really fun way to play it, and it has a lot of similarities to the original song. However, I did come up with a picking pattern that I think sounds really beautiful with this song as well, so I wanted to share that with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into how I would do the picking. Tell her how you love her in between the chorus and the verse. So when you gonna tell? So I've zoomed in so we can take a closer look at this picking pattern and again if you've never seen any of my other tutorials I do want to just point out that I actually like to number my strings and so you can see here low E is number six and it goes five four three two one all the way to the high E string which is number one so whenever I'm doing picking pattern tutorials I do like to refer to the strings as numbers so just to let you know that's what I'll be doing in this one as well um, but this picking pattern it sounds really beautiful but it's actually not that hard to play so what I want you to do I'm gonna kind of break this down a little differently than I normally do. Um, we're going to put our D chord on since that's the first chord in the song. And what I want you to do to start out is I want you to take your middle finger and your pointer finger, put them on the second and third string, G and your B string. So first finger or pointer finger on G, middle finger on B, three and two. Okay. And what I want you to do is just go back and forth. We're going to go middle pointer, middle pointer. So back and forth, that's kind of the basis of this entire picking pattern. So after you can do that back and forth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the next step would be to take your ring finger and put that on the top E string, okay? Your first string. And now what I want you to do is every time you play your middle finger in that back and forth pattern, every other time I want you to also pay, play your ring finger, okay? So you're also gonna play your top E. And so you're gonna go back and forth like this now. One and two, three. One and two, three. So it's gonna go one, two, three, so see how I'm only adding that top E string every other time that it's played. So two, one, three, two, three, two, one, three, two, three. All right? Nice. And then the last step in this picking pattern is now you're going to add your thumb to the bass note. So now go ahead and put your thumb on that fourth D string. And you're going to play this fourth D string every time you play your high E string. Okay? So now we've got our fingers like this. We've got thumb on our fourth, middle finger on our second, and ring on our first. And you're going to pick them all the same time. Then you still want to do that back and forth. But again, we're going to alternate, so it's gonna go. Do you see how we're doing all of the fingers every other time? So we've got four, two, one, three, two, three, four, two, one, three, two, three. So once you do that, the last step you want to do is now we want to do that same thing that we were doing with our strumming pattern, where on our D chord on our left hand, we're going to lift our middle finger, okay? But the picking pattern on your right hand is still going to be exactly the same. So now we've got, with our D chord on, so see 
now we're alternating again with our um, second finger on on the D chord and then off. And then off. Back on. Off. All right, nice. And so the beautiful thing about this picking pattern is that when we move to our A chord, your right hand is going to be basically the same. The only thing you want to do now is move your thumb up one more string to our fifth A string, okay? But the actual pattern is still going to be the same. So now we've got five, two, one, three, two, three, five, two, one, three, two, three. And then again, just like with our D chord, the very last step now is on your left hand. You want to mimic what we were doing with our strumming, and we're just going to lift off our ring finger, okay? So the picking is still the same on our right hand. You're going to go... Then we want to lift our ring finger. Then put it back on. Then lift it off. Alright? So again, we're just alternating back and forth between having that finger on and off. So our A chord is... So it is a lot to remember, but go ahead and just make sure that you pause the video and practice at your own tempo until you can speed it up. But the good thing about this pattern too is that I think it sounds really beautiful, it kind of like is sentimental like the song, and you can use it to play through the entire song start to finish. So let me just go ahead and show you a little bit of how that sounds. And again, like I said, you can use that for the entire song. I think it sounds really great. Um, or you can do a combination of picking and strumming, which is actually what I like to do in my cover here at the end. So let's go ahead and put everything together so we can play through the whole song. Do you get deja vu? Strawberry ice cream in Malibu. Don't act like we didn't do that shit too. You're training jackets like we used to do. Alright guys, so now that you know those chords and the strumming and the picking pattern to play through this song, it's your turn to have some fun, so make sure to join me right here for my fast track, you know, cover portion of this tutorial where we'll play through the whole song together. Or if you find yourself needing a little bit more help, I also have some guitar guides right here as well as a customizable interactive backing track where you can slow things down and isolate different guitar parts and things like that. So make sure to check that out on my Patreon page as well if you need a little extra help. But either of these things, really fun. We'll play through the song together, it'll be a jam. So go ahead and join me in one of these. <laughs> 